Hello, Scorpio. This is Renee, and welcome back to my channel. This reading is the person on your mind. Um, what this person is telling other people about Scorpio. What is this person telling other people about Scorpio? What are they saying about Scorpio to other people? The Ace of Swords. Okay, so they feel like you're very curious. They feel like you're learning all the time. They feel like you may want to be one of those per people who constantly looks at their phone checks their messages. Yes, definitely. Seven of Cups. Yes, they definitely feel like you have a lot of options. You have a lot of choices in life. They feel like you have a lot of people around you. You're very sociable. They feel like you're, you're friends with so many people. You're just outgoing. But they also feel like you're traditional. Like you're someone who they can settle down with. They also feel like you could teach them so much about the world. This also may be a spiritual person. Um, they, they think that you're spiritual as well. They think that you take a lot of time to yourself. They're telling people that you're health conscious, that you really take care of yourself. You take time out when you need to. Definitely. They feel like you are very inspirational. They feel like you're planning for the future. You have a lot of big plans. And you have the death card. Okay. So they feel like you're going through some sort of transformation. Like you're like you've just moved on from something very deep. I feel like they, they're telling people that now that you've moved on, they want you to take notice of them definitely with the page of wands they definitely want you to take notice of them they want you to pay attention they want you to pay attention to your intuitive nature they what well, that they want you to I feel like they want to send you a message about something. They they feel like you, you're starting this new adventure. And I feel like they want to be part of it. Yeah, you may be moving to some sort of destination. And they want to be someone that you go to when they move. They want you to move into their calmness. <laughs> definitely. Okay. So you have the Knight of Cups. They definitely want to give you some kind of some kind of invitation. They want to approach you in some kind of manner. They want to move closer to you. But they have this calmness about them. Like Everything's just spiritual. And that they may be someone who is dealing with the universe, with the positive nature, with manifesting, with meditation. Um, especially with this Four of Swords and the Hierophants. Yeah, but I feel like 
they're really transforming the way they feel about you. Tell me a little bit more about this person, Spirit. Tell me a little bit more about this person. What is this person saying about Scorpio? What is this person saying? They're saying that you're busy, that you're very busy. You don't stop very much. They feel like you work very hard. Maybe you communicate a lot with this Eight of Wands, Page of Swords. You're, you're very communicative, but they feel like they, they want to be your calming waters. You may receive a message from this person as well. And you have the world at the bottom. So yeah, I feel like they want to start this very adventurous new beginning with you. They, um, This could also be someone who has traveled the world and who wants to share their knowledge with you, Scorpio. Okay, now we got cards flying out. Twin flame. Gotcha. Okay, this may be a soulmate connection for you, Scorpio. This, they want to be the yin to your yang. They want to provide you with balance, union, duality. They want a commitment to you. Very interesting. Scorpio. What else do we have for Scorpio? Tell me more about this person's spirit. Tell me more about this person who's talking about Scorpio. Not enough. Yes, they feel like they may not bring enough to the table in order to intrigue you, Scorpio. They feel they lack the confidence to truly... Um, step to you i feel like there there's some kind of fear or ego issues and i feel like they're self-sabotaging themselves because they feel like they're not enough they feel like you may not find them attractive you may not feel like they have something that can provide for you but I feel like they're watching definitely they're watching you if you have social media they're, they're checking you out they're they're waiting to see if you post a status they're checking out your photos they're watching you from afar this person is so intrigued I feel like they're kind of <laughs> mini stalking you but they, they're not losing their focus. They're going to keep trying. I feel like they're very um, assertive. This person at the bottom of the deck, they feel like you are something definitely that can change their whole world. And they feel like However you're feeling right now, I feel like they can change your mind. You have the Phoenix and the Death card. That's total transformation. Total transformation. <clears throat> so I feel like this person is definitely working on themselves. They're definitely trying to get up the nerve. Um, but in the meantime, they're watching. They're, they're trying to keep up with you on social media. Um, Interesting. Spirit, what would this person say to Scorpio if they had a chance to? What would they say to Scorpio? What would they say? I know I messed up everything. Yeah, they, they feel like they're inadequate. They feel like they're just not enough. They, they don't have the confidence to... make a stand huh 
Yeah, we both know I'm not the one for you. So yeah, I feel like this person is very intrigued. They're very uh, enamored by you. I feel like you are very beautiful or very handsome. You're very attractive. And this person feels like you're not going to see them. Like they're just... invisible to you I wish I could take back my words hmm maybe this person has tried to say something and they felt very embarrassed by it I feel like they They may have said something to someone that you know, and then the person that you knew came back to you, and now they're embarrassed by what they asked. Interesting. So yeah, they definitely feel like you're with somebody. Here's the options here. They feel like you're re really curious. You may be searching for new love. You may be dating. You may have more than one option. Um, but this person seen you with somebody and they felt it, it just kind of socked them in, a gut, in the gut. Let's get some an outcome for Scorpio. And as soon as I pick up the deck, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person wants to give you some kind of information. They definitely want to have a chance to communicate with you. They want to give you their thoughts, their ideas, their they're proposing something to you. They want to definitely give you something to you because they're thinking so hard about you. You have the Queen of Swords. They're thinking so hard. Definitely. The Four of Cups. They're, they're thinking about you all the time. They can't get you off of their mind. Every time they turn around, either they see you or they um, see something that reminds them of you. They're constantly thinking about you. They want to give you what you need, Scorpio. Yeah, but they feel like they're in some sort of competition for your attention. And that's bringing them a lot of sadness, about a lot of grief. They feel a lot of doubt and self-confidence because they feel like there's so much competition in order to get any attention from you, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. And this is very interesting. Um, let me know if this resonates with you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Because um, this, this is definitely... A situation is very interesting. Many blessings to you, Scorpio. Have a wonderful December. Love and life.